Hello, Maximus here with a live commentary battle 2v2. It's me as the um, RDI and Urberni versus uh, Greek lions of Seleucids and Macedon, or Macedon to be precise. The battle is the Battle of Anthea, and it looks like uh, our opponent will have the cavalry advantage depending on the build. And we should have the infantry edge, but we'll see. I chose a solid line of uh, Hoplite, supported by some lighter marines and slave slingers, which I find works quite well. I only have, uh, with this particular build, I only had one loss, and that was extremely close. It was down to something like 20 men on each side, and my broke first. So okay, so he's uh, he's got a rush build here with some slingers for support. Now I'm going to move my hoplites up front, like so. Slingers behind, spears on the side to ward off any cavalry. And to support the main engagement as well. So there we go. And my main line of hoplites are in the back, so my slingers can retreat behind them. Um, just some token cavalry on the flanks to stop any stop any charging units, so I can get my guys in there. As you can see, my opponent, or my uh, ally rather, has four heavy horse, and that's it for his cavalry. So we will probably be fairly outmatched in the cavalry department. Um, and elephants and chariots could be a problem as well. But hopefully, if they bring a small elite force, we'll be able to rush and swarm them, pick up, a, pick off any high value units with uh, slingers. Got some savage dogs there and a line of chosen swords supported by slingers, Celtic youths, and some naked warriors. Chosen spears at the flanks. So he's doing a nice thing here and uh, supporting my weak flank with his uh, horse and some chosen spears, which is nice. And this flank uh, is a bit closer to the edge, so the maps are fairly small. Uh, which helps with protecting flanks, unfortunately, I must say. Good luck, have fun. Always nice with some sportsmanship. So now the plan is just to move up, push them, and uh, shoot them to death with slingers and impale them on these copy days. The plan uh, with having the Hoplite spread so thin is that any cavalry and elephants will be enticed into charging and then I can rush them with these uh, noble Hoplites. We'll see if the plan works. We have a very strong uh, left flank here and the right flank is weak so I'll maybe have to wheel back and present a line like this depending on how they uh, the enemy deploy. So we'll see. And here we go, can't see anything yet, so we'll just move up. General advance. Let's do some scouting here. So, we should move up to about here, I guess, to take advantage of the terrain. There we go, a flank of, so it looks like I'm ma matched up against uh, the Macedonian player. Here we go, Persian light archers, I'll just start chasing them right away with my cavalry. Before they can do too much damage to my uh, guys here, archers. Chasing them back. Well, he is not actually going to move his guys, so I'm going to be able to catch them here. Some of them at least. Charge his archers. So that was my cavalry. <laughs> well, I can actually disengage here. 
because I'm into two units of light archers. So now I'm going to disengage here from these archers and use the time to push up my line of hoplites against the Macedon player, push up with my slingers, order a general advance. So I did kind of throw away my cavalry there, but I feel it was worth it from a tactical standpoint. Create some chaos in his lines there. So my opponent is uh, already engaged over there. And these javelins should die to my uh, spears. Sending some hoplites to the flank. Some hoplites here. Moving around there. I'm going to try to take some shots at his shield bearers here. Or actually I'm going to shift the uh, fire to his foot companions because they obviously have uh, less armor than the shield bearers. Warriors! So his javelins are losing to my spears here. Uh, try to just defend the flank. Foot companions are starting to drop and now that his shield bearers are turning around we're going to be able to push up, and here we should be able to surround the Saluki play very nicely. Uh, push up with my spears here. Push up with my hoplites. Push up with my spears. Keep. So, his shield bearers, they have good armor. But they are starting to lose a few guys at least. Push up with the slingers. Make sure I have a strong enough line to stop any cavalry. Throw some javelins at the archers, and this uh, our opponents are very disorganized here, very disorganized indeed. So it looks like uh, we'll be able to force them into taking a defensive stance, which is of course good. And companion cavalry free for. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take this opportunity to do something about his companions, and. Charge his shield bears in the flanks, get my general back here, and just hold off the Macedon player here, the Macedonian player. He has levy pikes and archers, which I'm going to use this opportunity to shoot at. And here he comes with some uh, citizen cavalry. I'm just going to send one unit of spears to deal with them and keep throwing my uh, javelins here. I'm able to catch his companions with my spears, so that's nice, I'm able to catch this uh, citizen cab. And these guys are being a nuisance by firing at his archers. So, companions should start to drop fairly soon. I hope at least. So now my line is too weak to stop any uh, charge. So I'm going to put my guys there. Keep skirmishing with these spears and shift fire to his uh, archers. Should die quickly to my slingers. And here we go. Silver shields being taken down. I'm going to send these guys in here. It's almost like uh, our opponent is away from the keyboard or something because. Uh, I, I don't understand what they are even thinking here. Companions charging straight into this line of hoplites. Um, while they are going to get through here, they're just going to be stopped by three thin lines of hoplites. So, don't really know what he was thinking there. His archers are wavering. And uh, should go down soon. His companions are going to go down. So... All is well. I don't think they'll be able to. No, they won't be able to break through here. So I'm just going to turn around and his, his uh, mercenary Cretans need to die. Here he has a foot companions, which obviously are a huge threat to any unit. But I'm going to just stop and take it here. Shoot at his uh, Cretans. And over here, the Saluki player is not feeling too well, I imagine. 
his companions managed to break through somewhat, but at a huge cost to them. Didn't really manage to get too many guys here. Um, I just want to finish these Crete archers and then I will move around here because I still have these guys at the back of the cavalry there. So his companions are routing, which means that I can stop worrying about my um, protecting this flank and I'm just going to move up. Order a general advance. Now he sees the opening, I guess. And the uh, foot companions are racing away. So let's see if they've managed to take out the Cretans yet. Nope, but they're on their way. Charging a citizen cav. Just some levy pikes over there. But the companion cavalry came back, probably from killing so many slingers. I'm just going to move my slingers away here. The Cretans are going down. And here I am fighting foot companions that are out of phalanx, so that's good. Just blobs all over the place. Now I can send these guys in here, take care of the Cretans. His, his, his cavalry will be able to push through somewhat, but at a huge cost to them. Um, this battle is just about over. Just about. So, shoot at the Cretans. Uh, our opponent wasted all of their cavalry, basically, uh, by going for these slingers, which is kind of the idea with this build. I want, uh, I want to present a lot of cheap slingers that can um, do some damage when left unchecked, but still are so cheap that when uh, guys like um, when more expensive troops are firing at them, it's really a waste. And these hoplites can take a lot of missile fire. As you can see here, these uh, foot companions aren't doing. Uh, they aren't being just disintegrated against those. Um, against those uh, Illyrian hoplites, although they are auto phalanx, but they are losing. So here the dogs come. Uh, mercenary Cretans are being demolished by a lot of slinger, concentrated slinger fire. I will soon get a chain route here. So that's a GG. I didn't know these players from before, so it's always uh, interesting to see if uh, you're able to to uh, work together with your ally. <sighs> Let's have a look at the kills. The Macedon player really, yeah, he, he got uh, 518 kills, I got 1200. And I don't have a really killy build, so it's just more of a testament to... Um, to our opponent not being able to use their units to much effect, like you see all this cavalry is wasted. And look at this build. Only cavalry and skirmishers, basically. And just a mix of units, really hard to use that kind of build effectively. While uh, my ally went skirmish heavy with a solid core of chosen swords, and I went for a lot of hoplites and slingers that did fairly well. Uh, these Illyrian Marines, 231 kills on them, 3 chevrons, I think it's the most I've ever seen on that unit. But always fun to, to have a little 2v2. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.